Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Insight Show right here on MadhouseTV.com. You might have seen those bumpers going around lately, but uh, it is uh, Thursday. It's uh, August 28th and 2014, and we've made it through another one, and uh, we have an interesting show for you tonight. We have a packed show for you tonight. Uh, we have a comedian, and uh, uh, let's see. How can I forget his name? Rudy Fusco. And we have uh, Donna Dean, who's a returning vocalist, who's wonderful. And we also have Rick uh, LeBan, who is with the acoustic uh, something. Acoustic, uh, we'll get it when it comes out of me. Let's see, hold it, hold it up. Acoustic correct, or connect. Correct. Acoustical correct. I knew I'd get it. He has to hold up a sign for me to get it, but I got it. Meanwhile, uh, we uh, are going to have a lot of fun tonight. So, sitting alongside of me, I just mentioned, is uh, Donna Dean and also our comedian, uh, who is going to be uh, performing right after we do this little video. So, Rudy Fusco, welcome to the show. Donna, welcome to the show. Nice to see you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So, let me, let me start with you, since I got you over there. Um, how long have you been doing comedy? Formerly, not too long. A very short period of time, but it was in development over many years. I used to write and I wrote on serious issues as well as comic issues and it just developed. One day my girlfriend says to me, you should go for a workshop. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she took that as a yeah. Well, it sounded like a yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, that's so how I got involved. Yeah. So she created this monster. Well, would you go to comedy school or univer stand-up university or something? Yes, or? I went to an organization called Stand-Up University. So Rich Walker? Rich Walker, <laughs> uh, Peter Bales. And um, they um, start you with very simple. Things you don't like, things you like, and then they work, uh, it, they work it that way. Um, we spent six weeks of working on a comedy, and at the end they have a show. And the show is uh, with all the graduates. And uh, it's just a wonderful thing. Uh, what I like about the art form is... You, you break it down by syllable, and then it's uh, syllable, word, body language, facial expression, and you could actually take any situation and find a joke in it. That's what I love about it. That's pretty much true to me. <laughs> but th what about, you, did you also go to Gateway of Comedy by any chance with, uh, with yes. uh, Mike uh, Dillon? Mike Dillon uh, runs Gateway Comedy, uh, and Paul Bond is very active in that group and uh, they have a great bunch of comics if you ever get a chance to go to that show any one of their shows the next one coming up is september 13th what about your show will you be that's there? my show september 13th i'll be in that show if you go to my web page uh, my facebook page rudy fusco dash comedian uh, i'll make sure we save some seats for you because it does uh, fill up pretty quick and uh, where's it going to be it'll be at the clarion hotel clarion. Uh, by MacArthur Airport. It used to be the Holiday Inn. Now it's called the Clarion. Very nice place. And it's very, it's cheaper than a movie. So you get two and a half hours, maybe two hours of comedy, maybe more. You get a headliner, you get some great comics, and you have a great night out. Have you, have you ventured out? Are you strictly Long Island? Have you gone to uh, like Manhattan and stuff like that? Because I know like Mike and them, they go that way towards Manhattan and all that stuff. I have not gone to Manhattan yet. Uh, there was a lot of open mic nights just about everywhere all over Long Island. And uh, so I'm uh, honing my skills and I'm working on the act. Uh, my character is a hopeless romantic who can never get it right. I'm my own worst enemy, the things I say and the things I do. And I have to be honest with you, it draws loosely on personal experiences. <laughs> <laughs> now how about you, Donna? You just mentioned that you're talking about going to Comedy school, too? Yes, but no. <laughs> I don't think so. I have, I have a pretty full plate. <laughs> um, w with Senior New York, we do usually one to two shows a week at uh, senior centers and uh, assisted living, veterans' homes, veterans' hospitals. So we try to give back to the community. There's usually 20 of us, that, a whole troop that goes. When did you when did you get that title? Miss 2012. Senior, New York Senior. Miss New York Senior America. Miss New York Senior America 2012. Um, it it's I, I wear it 
for things like this because we, I try to promote. It, it's a wonderful organization for women over 60. And uh, I always sang, but never I, I would sing crazy at karaoke, and that was it. And I became part of this organization, and I started to sing at 62 and 66. Now I sing at restaurants. <laughs> well, you also sing on that cruise ship, that, that little mm -hmm. uh, moon something. Moon the moon chase. It no, goes Fire Island. Fire Island. Like I sang it. You sang it there with Frank. And, yeah, uh, at Frank Falavella. I, I actually went there, and I, I saw you guys. Yeah. And uh, it was a great show. It's it's one nice nice dinner, beautiful uh, singing and beautiful lady, and it was a good time. So if you get a shot to go out there, it's on it's on a weekday, isn't it? It's Wednesday it was a or Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday or Thursday, Tuesday night, I, I believe. Um, and the other place is uh, Villa Monica. I sing there, and uh, Madison's. I was just at the Bolton Center. I did the uh, for the wounded warriors for Long Island Jewish and Southside Hospital. Terrific. Yeah, I didn't win, but it was a wonderful experience. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I'm going to, um, we're going to pause right now just to see a, a video clip of something I happened to see on Facebook. And uh, I liked it so much that I said, you know what, I got to, I got to put this up. Uh, so take a look, see. And then when we come back, we'll come back to the uh, uh, comedy stylings of Rudy Fusco. Okay, so hang in there. Video clip time. Hey guys, Josh Fierstein here. You know, the other day I had an atheist tell me that I was an idiot, moronic, and stupid for believing in God that he created this world because it took way too much faith to believe in a process like that while he believed in what he called the science of evolution. Well, let's go ahead and let's do this. Dear Mr. Atheist, first of all, let me correct you. Because evolution is not a science, never has, and never will be. Why? Because it cannot fit within the parameters and parentheses of science for one simple reason. It was never observed. That's why it's not science. That's why it's called the theory of evolution. One man's theory. Now, let me show you how much faith it really takes to believe in evolution. You want me to believe that in some accidental cosmic bank, that out of that was created one cell, and from that one cell that all life springs, every plant, every animal, every single human being, and that somewhere along the way over years and years, we mysteriously and magically all develop different wills, and we all develop different characteristics and traits, all because we willed it in our, I mean, you really think that everything came from one single cell? How much faith does that take? Now, I realize that you say that evolution is in science, and yet if we go back to science, the one thing that science demands, if you maybe you've heard of the, something called the law of thermodynamics, which means that chaos can never produce order. Look at the world that we live in. The sun goes up, the moon comes out, we travel around the sun, we have years, we have days, we have seasons, the tide comes in and out, everything works like a clock. It has order. And yet, you cannot argue that a world that has order came out of an accident because it defies the very logic and laws of science. You see, you think it takes a lot of, of faith for me to believe in a God that created this world, a God that created order, and yet, what if I were to tell you that somewhere in Oklahoma, a tornado rolls through a junkyard full of a bunch of old cars and and somewhere on the other side of that tornado out of that junk pile it magically produces a perfectly red shiny working lamborghini you would tell me i was nuts you would tell me that i had lost it you would probably try to admit me into the psychiatric ward why because that is absolutely stupid i mean how much faith would it really take to believe something as idiotic as that and yet that's exactly what science believes Science believes that in this accident came this perfectly working earth with human life and with people and animals and plants and, and seasons and days and hours and rotates. I mean, the atmosphere, everything in earth was created perfectly. And I'm telling you, that could never happen through an accident. It had to be by intelligent design. So dear Mr. Atheist, who really has to have a lot of faith today to believe in their theory? I believe in God because I've experienced him, I've felt him, but most of all, while driving through Yellowstone and, and Montana and so many of these natural reserves this week and looking at animals and looking at life, I don't know. I just can't look at all of that creation and say that it, it was an accident. I have to say that creation has a creator. And one final thought, well, the word universe, you believe in a big bang, but 
When I look at the word universe, it means una, which is one or singular. That's Latin, una, verse. Verse means a spoken statement. So universe is one single spoken statement. I dare you to read Genesis 1. And in the beginning, God said, let there be. All God had to do was speak one single spoken statement and boom, the universe. God bless. I dare you, if you believe in God, if you believe that all of this stuff is nonsense and you have enough faith to stand up and say, I still believe in creationism. I still believe in a God that reigns above all. Then I ask you to take a moment and click share. Click share below or on the side of this video. And if you're not my friend already on Facebook, click my name at the top of this video and let's be friends. But guys, it's time for us to stand up, get loud, and get proud. Why do we let evolutionary uh, quote unquote science work its way into middle schools and preschools and colleges and universities around the world? That's nonsense. It takes too much faith to believe that junk. And yet, I say it's time for us to begin to believe in intelligent design, believe in God. As always, like and comment below. I want to hear your thoughts on this. God bless. Have a very, very beautiful day. Hey, guys. 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 All right. We made it back. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a very interesting little uh, video. But now we have Rudy Fus uh, Fusco is going to do his comedy stuff for me and uh, for us. Go get him. Thank get him you. up. Thank you very much. See you right back. Thank you very much. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Great, I hope. Oh, that's great news. I was a little worried about it. So just to make sure, I smuggled in a few day laborers. You know, if you feed them, they'll come. It's amazing how many laughs you can get on a few ounces of tequila. But the truth be known, I am one hopeless romantic. Emphasis on hopeless. I just can never get it right. I was married, but she divorced me. She said she got tired of sleeping alone. That's how bad it was, folks. Our marriage started out with two hearts and a diamond. It ended up with a club and a spade. Why? Because it was always about the money. Things were tough at first. Has anybody here ever had to meal share? At first, we meal shared. We went out, we would order lobster dinner. She got the lobster, I got the potato. <laughs> One time she says, go out and get two pounds of catfish. I said, catfish? Why catfish? She says, because I already got a 200 pound crab at home. She meant me. <laughs> so I said, watch it. Next thing you say, I'll hold against you. She says, please, George Clooney. I know that sounds like an old joke, folks, but that's just what she said. One day I went on a business trip and I forgot to tell her. She actually got a little nervous. She calls the police, she reports me missing, and a few days later the detectives called and said, expect the worst. She says, why, you think you might find him? <laughs> so I felt a little bad about that, so I decided to take her on a cruise. My way of saying I'm sorry. And while we're on a cruise, she says, actually offers to tattoo my initials on her rear end. I said, why stop there? Rudolph Valentino Fusco III. There's plenty of room. <laughs> and you know what happens when you come back from vacation? You always bring back things you don't need. For me, it was my wife. <laughs> anyway, she confused me. She says, she actually started having sex with me again. What? Batteries became expensive? <laughs> anyway, she, she really threw me off. She said, you know, Mr. Kelly next door, he hugs and kisses his wife when he leaves the house in the morning. And he says, I love you. Why can't you do that? I said, I hardly know Mrs. Kelly. <laughs> anyway, she says, you're really pushing my, all my buttons. I said, yeah, there's one. I, you're right. There's one I haven't found yet, the mute button. So I decided to fix it all with a divorce. And you know, with us, it was always about the money. And in the end, I got my divorce. I got divorced from my cars, divorced from my house, and divorced from all my money. And that closes a chapter in my life I call Chapter 11. 
So I decided to open up a new book. I call it the Book of Ages. And then I thought of, I'll be dating, but I'm concerned about my health as well. So I don't mind falling asleep after sex. I just don't want to be that guy who falls asleep during sex. Because to be honest with you, happy hour to me means a good nap. <laughs> so maybe it's time to get new doctors. So I got this one new doctor. She's very young and she's holistic and she says, smell rosemary every day. It's good for your diabetes. <laughs> Not the rosemary I know. <laughs> and don't drink and drive anymore. So I stopped driving because I'm a terrible drinker. One night I went out, I had four very strong martinis. That night, my neighbor, he wouldn't let me sleep, kept on waking me up, making all kinds of noise. Turns out I was in his bed. <laughs> and we were spooning. <laughs> anyway, as you get older, you start feeling old, and if I'm feeling that old now, I dread what it's going to be like when I go to an assisted living facility. So it must be hell on my ex-mother-in-law, so I wanted to go pay her a visit. And I find out she's actually on the prowl. She points out this new arrival. A quiet guy keeps all to himself. She goes, do me a favor. Go check him out. So I go, up, we'll talk with him. He tells me his family's all gone. He's all alone. But then he tells me that he spent 35 years in a penitentiary for a series of axe murders. My God, axe murders. Hey, Mari, single. But now I'm back to dating. I said to my girlfriend, would you sleep with me? She goes, you really are a comedian, aren't you? <laughs> my girlfriend says, you work too much. I want to see more of you. So I gave her a pick and a shovel, and I put her to work. And things weren't much different for my family either. My youngest daughter, she says, Dad, I want to have a Cinderella-themed party at the house for my birthday. I said, sure, honey. So she invites all her friends over. And when they got there, I made them clean the house. That's the last time they ever asked for a theme party. My older daughter, she came to me with a fiancé, and she says, Dad, I want to have something that will help people remember and talk about my wedding. I said, I've got an idea. They'll be talking about it for years to come. Try a cash bar. <laughs> my brother's a lawyer, and he must really love me, because with all the grief I've given him over the years, He's only sued me three times. <laughs> anyway, summertime is my favorite time of year. I love the summer. Summertime is a time of, I really like those low-cut halters, those bad midriffs, you know, the pierced belly buttons with the fake jewelry and the short shorts and those wonderfully delicious pink flip-flops. But I think they make me look a little gay. <laughs> my name is Rudy Fusco. Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We'll be right back after these commercial words. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York, and we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. 
we are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Hi, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Insight Show. I'm your host, Reverend Dennis, and uh, I'm standing alongside Donna Dean, who's been here before, and she's gonna wow you right now with some beautiful singing. All yours. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you for having me back. a fool and don't I know it but a fool can have his charms I'm in love and don't I show it like a babe in arms men are not a new sensation lately I've not slept away since this half pint imitation put me on the blame, I'm wild again, beguiled again, a simpering, whimpering child. Am I? Couldn't sleep and wouldn't sleep when love came and told me I shouldn't sleep. Bewitched, bothered, and bewildered.
best He is cold I agree He can laugh but I love it because the Each spring to him and long for the day when I'll cling to him, bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. Am I? Men are not a new sensation I've done pretty well, I think But this half-pint imitation Put me on the blink This is my favorite part I've sinned a lot I mean a lot I'm not sweet, 17 or love, bewitched, bothered, and bewildered, am I? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And before the next song starts, I sang this song at Sardi's in front of Irvin Drake, who wrote the song. Unfortunately, my memory was not too good, and I forgot the words. But I faked it. I fake it well. You old gloomy side Good morning, hearty Thought we said goodbye last night I tossed and turned until it seemed You were gone But here you are with the dawn Wished I'd forget you But you're here to stay it seems I met you when my love went away. Now every day I start by saying to you, Good morning, heartache, what's new? Stop haunting me. leave me alone I've got those Monday blues straight through Sunday blues good morning hearty here we go again good morning hearty you're the one who knew me well might as well get used to you Hanging around Good morning, heartache Sit down Stop haunting me Straight through sun.
Sunday blues Good morning, Hardy Here we go again Good morning, Hardy You're the one who knew me well Might as well get used to you Hanging around Good morning, Hardy Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And the next song, my fiance Walter Brown kept saying to me, You have to try this song. I said, nah, I don't do country. Yeah, you have to try this song. Now it's one of my favorites. Daylight has found me here again. You can ask me anything but where I've been. The things that used to matter seem so small. When you're looking for a soft place to fall Don't misunderstand me, baby, please I didn't mean to bring back memories You should know the reason why I called I was looking for a soft place to fall Looking for a soft place Nothing more than a small taste of a love that ended long ago. Looking for a place to hide, a warm bed on a cold night. I didn't mean to hurt you. No, no, no Looking out your window at the dawn Baby, when you wake up, I'll be gone You're the one who taught me after all How to find a soft place to fall You're the one who taught me after all How to find a soft place to fall Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dennis. All right. That was very, very pretty. Thank you. Are you ready to try something that we haven't ever did before together? Yes. You might see us singing somewhere together one, one of these days. I don't know. You never know. I yeah. would love it.
It's cheat sheet. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so you, where are you going to be appearing next? Uh, I think Madison's, but I'm, I don't have the date yet. And is that with uh, Frank or is it? Uh, uh, probably Frank. Okay. Well, welcome. Unless you and I can get a show somewhere. Yeah, sure. I'd be more than happy Any, to. Anybody listening? <laughs> <laughs> we're our own agents now. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to do this song. It's a duet that we've never sung before. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back after these words. And thank you one more time, Donna. Thank you, Donna Dan. Dean. We'll be right back. My name is Dr. Robert Brevar. I'm here for Multi Medicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we 15 years. We do a vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is.
Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicky is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. If you find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. If you like, Cat Stevens out there. There's a tribute going on right here from Rick Laven. And he's from Acoustically Correct. You have one half of Acoustically Correct. All yours, Rick. If you want to sing out, sing out. And if you want to be free, be free. He says a million. To live low, live low. There's a million ways to go. You know that there are. You can do what you want. Opportunities are. If you find a new way, you can do it today. You can make it all true. i 
it's not something new And it's breaking my heart to leave it So baby, I'm grieving And if you want to leave, take a pill Hope you make a lot of nice things to wear But then a lot of nice things turn bad out there There you go. Good stuff. Thank so you. tell me something, Rick. Uh, yes. You're one half of this acoustically correct thing up here. That's right. Uh, my partner and I are uh, playing all around Long Island at uh, restaurants and clubs almost every weekend, uh, doing a lot of 60s and 70s music, and we also play at libraries, um, all sorts of tributes. We do a Traveling Wilburys tribute. This Cat Stevens tribute is new. I'm going to be playing it. A uh, little bit of it tomorrow night at uh, Jack Halyard's in Oyster Bay. Great. And uh, next week at uh, Rattlesnake Jones on Thursday night in Merrick. I'm going to play the whole show then. I've got about 20 Cat Stevens songs that I'm going to start in about 7 o'clock. Well, that's a tribute. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, do you have, a, you have a contact number as well or a website? Yeah. Uh, well, the website you can see on the sign, acousticallycorrectmusic.com. On there is our entire schedule, uh, contact information if uh, you're interested in bookings or if you just want to come down and see us perform. What's your, what's your partner's name? My partner is Matt Crone. He also plays guitar and sings. And uh, when we play together, sometimes we use backing tracks. Sometimes we play like this with just an acoustic guitar. I also play electric guitar. We have uh, dance party nights. We have... Uh, a show called Flower Power, where we do all 60s music sometimes. So we've got a lot of fun stuff going on. We're well, doing a great job here. I'll tell you that. Now, you guys are going to be back here together as a group, I think, next month or something. Uh, too, yeah, in a couple of weeks, we're going to come back and we're going to do our Acoustic Beatles tribute. Wonderful. And plug our show at Sergio's. Yeah, well, I'm there, too. I'm there, yeah. We'll yeah. be there on the 19th. Yeah, that's where we met, over yeah. at Sergio's. Yeah, that's right. So, look, I'm going to let you get back to work, and I'm going to get out of your hair. Okay, I got some more Cat Stevens. This one's from T for the Tillerman. And I just want to thank Dennis for having me on the show. I'm really enjoying it here. A lovely studio. So this one's called Hard Headed Woman.
Of darkness, there rides a peace. 
That's it, my friend. I want to thank uh, everybody for coming out here tonight. And we're going to send off, like I usually do at the end of the song, I get my last song of the evening in. So everybody, come on, come up here, my guests. Come on up here, fill the stage. You can stay up here, guys. All right, we'll see Acoustically Correct soon, and uh, Donna Dean and, and, and Rudy Fusco. And uh, I get to do the last song, so here it is. Three that way. Well, this is where I get to honor God and country for a little bit. I want to thank you all for staying and watching. And to our Madhouse crew. Jane, Sorelli, Tommy, Mark. God bless America. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies, through the with food God bless America my home sweet home ladies and gentlemen let's not forget to show our properties to our first responders and to the police departments and the fire departments and to the soldiers out there defending our freedom and to the veterans who've been there and done that Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the greatest country in the world. Sing out with me at home, too. Come on. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America. God bless America. I love that. God bless America. Ah, yes. Our. Good night, everybody. God bless. See you next week.